Hi, I'm Joe Hedziki, inventor of the Revolution Kite, and we've been in this for 30 years and we've given millions of lessons and we've noticed some common problems that occur with new pilots. So let's go over a few of those today. One common problem is the uneven launch. This is what it looks like. The most common cause of this problem is twofold. Number one, you're either off wind, or number two, your lines are not tight and even. So to fix that, number one, make sure you're downwind. Number two, make sure all four lines are tight and your handles are even. At this point, we're gonna bring those thumbs back, give it a smooth tug. This is what it looks like. Downwind, all four lines are tight, thumbs back, smooth launch. That's a perfect launch. Another common problem is, have you ever had it where your rub won't fly up, it feels sluggish, it even actually kind of wants to come down? For new pilots, what happens is they tend to be a little nervous and that causes them to grip their wing a little bit, a little bit too tight. You're holding those handles too tight. It looks like this. Fly, fly, I'm pulling, I'm yanking, it won't fly up. The solution to this is, first of all, realize what that problem is. That problem is you're just gripping too tight. So let that handle kick out into your hands a little bit and just relax a little bit. This is what it looks like. All four lines tight, thumbs back, launch, thumbs back, look how it flies. Problem solved. A problem that's related to gripping too tight is that one of your hands is dominant over the other. And so what you'll always end up with is you've always got this turn going on. It's always turning to the left. It's always turning to the right. Why does it keep doing that? And you go, oh no, my lines are messed up. Oh no, I need a new bridle. Oh no, the bungees are... It's none of those things. It's a dominant hand problem. You have a dominant hand. I have a dominant hand. Left-handers, right-handers, whatever you are, one hand is stronger than the other. And without thinking about it, you overpower that side, which holds it down, which causes a constant turn to that side. The solution to this is to realize that that's the problem and you're holding tight. It'll usually be your dominant hand. The correction to that is instead of fixing that turn, it turns off, instead of fixing it with the high wing, fix it with the low wing by letting the pressure off. Looks like this. Here's my dominant right hand. Oh no. Dominant right hand. Don't fix the turn by turning to the left. Fix the turn by letting off on that right handle. When you let off on that right handle, you're correcting in your mind that dominant pressure. And that's what will fix your problem. Here's another problem we see with new flyers. They tend to walk back. And they, they walk back for different reasons. If you don't have enough wind and you're a new flyer, wait for a little more wind. Fly in an area with better wind conditions. Number two, they walk back because when they were a kid and they were flying a kite, they would run back. We don't run back anymore, now we just walk back. But either way, that's kind of an imagined problem. If your kite is flying fine, but you're walking back, why are you walking back? Because that's what you do with a kite. Okay, I got a perfect solution to that. Stand still. Practice that and you'll be fine. The final problem of the day is for two line pilots. I hand you a rev, look, you got two handles, and a kite on the end. This has got to be easy, right? Up you go. Oh, oh, you're in here. Pull. And what happens? Crash. Here's what the real problem is. The real problem is you thought you were flying a Delta. You thought you were flying a two-line kite. This is what the real solution to this problem is. You got to realize kites, all kites aren't created equal. You got to take your Delta and put it off the side for two lines and put your rev over this side. And what we're going to do for that is we're going to learn very precise skills. You have to learn them, you can't react with two line skills. You have to learn these new skills. They're not complicated. There's a couple things I want you to focus on. Number one. Keep your arms extended. Number two, turn with rotation. So your hands stay together and your turns are accomplished by rotation. One of the problems that causes a crash with two line pilots is they get out of control. This is why I want you to practice this technique for half a day and almost all your problems will go away. All we're going to do is launch, stop, and back down. Launch, thumbs back, stop, thumb forward, stop, thumbs farther forward, back down. This is what it looks like. Launch, stop, back down. You see how I didn't go very far with that flight? 
That keeps me from getting into these crazy situations where I have to react with the two-line pulling technique. Avoid that. Every move that you do right will reinforce a right movement, so stick with it. Tight lines, thumbs back, give it a tug up into the air, stop it before it gets out of control, back it down. Do this for a few times, get used to it a little bit, then take it up, balance it, and talk to yourself. Notice that your hands are together and even, there's no pulling going on, and you're correcting and backing it down with wrist rotation. That's perfect. You can take it to the next level, take it up there, hover it, turn a little bit to the right, oh, oh, oh. a little bit to the left, oh, oh. whenever you get in trouble with it, just back it down before it gets crazy out of direction. If we can get those two ideas separated, you'll be well on your way. That's the end of the problems. We'll see you out on the field.